In a bold move, embattled Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich appointed a senator to fill Barack Obama's former United States Senate seat. Federal authorities arrested Blagojevich in early December and accused him of trying to sell the open Senate position, among other things. Please don't allow the allegations against me to taint this good an honest man. 71-year-old Roland Burris has a long history in Illinois politics. He was the first African-American to be elected to a major statewide office in 1979. I asked the people of Illinois to place the same faith and trust in me that, have been, that they have in the past when they elected me three times as their state controller and one term as their attorney general. Blagojevich's selection of Burris throws a huge curveball to the U.S. Senate. Senate Democratic leaders have promised not to seat whomever Blagojevich appoints. But with Obama gone, there is no African American in the Senate. Congressman Bobby Rush from Chicago says race is an important factor to appoint Burris. And I don't think that anyone, any U.S. Senator who's sitting in the Senate right now, want to go on record to deny one African American from being seated, seated in the U.S. Senate. Illinois Secretary of State Jesse White says he will not certify Blagojevich's appointment. The governor can take it upon himself to send it to the, uh, to the United States Senate and then he would have to uh, make his case with them. But right now I'm not going to sign on to it because uh, when you're dealing with a governor who's under a cloud of controversy I don't want to buy into any recommendation. The governor says he's been enjoying the limelight since his arrest. Feel free to casticate the appointor, but don't lynch the appointor. I am not guilty of any criminal wrong. Governor. With Blagojevich making this political power move, the eyes are now on the Illinois legislature to see if it speeds up the impeachment process and the U.S. Senate to see if it actually does deny Burris a seat. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Chicago.